Well, welcome back to school, Middleston Mustangs. We're going to have a uh, fun day here. We've got PE at home. This is day one. Uh, we're going to go through our agenda here in a little bit, and then we're going to do a quick warm-up, and uh, we'll go through everything that we're going to be doing. This is a similar format to what you should see on a daily basis. So let's get started with our agenda. Looking at our agenda, we are going to be doing a warm-up, some skill builders, which will involve uh, just some dribbling lead up, and then a ball control rally, which you're going to be creative and make your own. And then we're going to do a little bit of a review of what skills we worked on, how you know you're successful, and kind of what that looks like. And then finally, we're going to do what's called a cool down or a calm down. And each day there's a chance where you get to kind of just relax, breathe, find a comfy spot, and just let your body come back down as you go on to your other uh, activities for the day. So now looking at our warm-up that we have here, you have two choices. You can either do squats on the left, which is the red screen, or jumping lunges. Again, you can stop this video at any time, rewind it, do and follow these cues. We're just going to do some quick warm-ups. Now again, for these warm-ups, you can do these uh, for roughly about 30 seconds is the goal. Each one that we do. So if you want to switch partway through, you can do that as well. But we're trying to give you choices so you can do what works in the space that you have since I don't know what space you have to work with. So if you can't jump up and down, maybe you want to do the squats for this section. Now next up, our second warm-up here, you get to go and choose between Starburst, which is the red box on the left, or the blue box, which is a little more subtle and some windmill toe touches. Depending on your space again, uh, modify these as needed. If you can't jump up and down, obviously, you're probably going to want to do the windmill toe touches. And now it's time to change things up a little bit. After you get done with that warm up, you get to follow along with the hologram, just kind of move along. Just doing a little eight count. You've seen this before. You get a chance to just go and move yourself. Again, you can stop this and rewind it at any point in time that you want to to follow along. Do what you can in your space. If you can't do something, that's okay. You can always move forward to the next uh, activity that we have. All right, it's about that time to get into our skill building a little bit here. We're finishing up our warm-up using some ball control around our single leg. We did this one before, so it should be pretty familiar. Again, you can use any ball. You could use a rolled up socks. You could use a stuffed animal. Anything that you can find just to kind of get yourselves warmed up and moving around. From here, we're gonna move on to alternating our legs after a while. So make sure you switch your legs up so you get a chance to go and do a little bit different skill and get a move around on both legs. All right, continue to move on. We're gonna go in and out using both legs at the same time. This one's a little bit challenging, but I know you can do it. So good luck, keep it going. Again, change balls if you need to, if it's not working with the ball that you have. We're gonna keep warming up as we move around our body. The next one that you'll be doing will be going around your waist. So just continuing to go and work on ball control, moving the ball and manipulating it. So use what you can. I know when I was doing this with my daughter, she was using a shoe. So you can do the same thing going around your neck now for 
our warm-up. We're getting close to the end of our warm-up, but still moving through some of the skills that you should have seen if you did the test run before. All right, now you should feel nice and warmed up. Your heart should be saying thank you. We're going to move into our skills. Uh, first of all, we're going to want to talk about where you should be touching the ball again. You should be using your finger pads, not your tips and not your palms. Really focusing on using those finger pads to send the ball around in the various directions that we do today. We're going to be starting with swatters, which is an activity we tried a little bit for volleyball, so you should recognize it. But this one's going to be against the wall, so you can do it solo. And we're going to go and add some challenges as we go. So this first one is just simply bouncing against the wall with your hand forward. Notice how I have one foot closer to the wall and it's my opposite foot. That's actually a skill element that is uh, critical. It's a critical element that you need to and be able to do uh, when we are doing dribbling. Hence the reason why we're doing this. The other critical element is using your finger pads. So if you can do this the way that Mr. W is, you're already doing two of the five critical elements. Now we're going to alternate hands for this next part. Just getting your body moving so you jump back and forth, switching which leg is forward and which hand is being used. Another way to go and challenge yourself on this. You'll notice each of these skills gets progressively harder as with every time that we do skill building of any kind. The next one that you're going to be seeing is going to be facing away from the wall, using one hand and using your finger pads to send it through your legs. See if you can get to go back through your legs. I know the video it's a little bit hard to see that, but it goes through my legs each time and I use my finger pads. Switch hands if you feel comfortable. And on the next one we're going to be alternating. So now we're using both hands. Going left, then right. Left, then right. So use both hands using your finger pads. Again this is just a challenging skill to go and help you build ball control using those finger pads. That's our big focus. Now this one gets to be really challenging because you're letting the ball go through your legs while you're facing the wall and you're using your hand behind your legs. Again, don't get frustrated if you can't do this one. It may be difficult. If you can't, just keep working on it. Keep trying it. If you don't get it, it's not the end of the world. The next one is just adding in a second hand. So you're going left and right, left and right. So you see I use my left hand and then it comes back and I try to use my right hand, getting the ball to go between my legs. Just more ball control, manipulating the ball in a different way, building up those skill elements. This one gets to be really challenging. Mr. W took a while to go and get him to get a great example where you use your finger pads and you try to send it against the wall and around your leg. Again, for all these skills, if you don't have a wall, you can just move the ball around your feet on the ground using your finger pads. That's another way just to work on the skill. Our main goal here, again, is focusing on using our finger pads to move the ball around. So when you start dribbling, that'll be your goal is to manipulate it using your finger pads. In today's lesson, that's our big focus, critical element of using finger pads. Now this next one gets to be even more challenging as you are sending it through your legs, you're jumping and switching. When you get done with this one, you can rewind it and you can try it again. Uh, if you're struggling with it, that's okay. Try to switch up your hands as well. On this video, I'm just using my right hand, but I put both hands up there so you can see it and you can try both hands at the same time if you want to as you switch. Again, with these, you can get creative. The main focus is using those finger pads. Really focus on using those finger pads, getting that heart moving, and saying thank you. All right, this is the fun part. You get to create your own course. Any course that you want to, you're going to go and try to challenge yourself by either seeing how fast you can get through it by timing yourself, or how many times you can get through without hitting something, um, add to different obstacles, I'm going to be showing you a few that I went made up with a bunch of toys that my girls had laying around the house and I'm using a different ball. I'm using a small soccer ball and a big soccer ball on a couple of videos. I'm using one hand, using both hands, uh, sometimes using my strong hand, using 
my less dominant or non-dominant hand as well. So try different things, get creative, invite your family to go and um, play with you as well, because this is a good way to go and just build up the skill. And we're focusing on using those hand pads or those finger pads to go through. So the first one here, it's called the diamond. Notice how I have four objects I'm gonna to try to get the ball around. I'm not bouncing the ball, I'm just rolling it using my finger pads. So you notice how I go around the drill, the big bumblebee, the mini mouse phone, and then a big stack of cups and finish at the white line on this one. This is called Ball Control Rally Racer. Again, I'm not expecting you to have the same opticals as me, so make up your own. Just a way to be creative. And I'm using a soccer ball, I'm not using a basketball. You could use a stuffed animal, you could use a rolled up tube of socks, pretty much anything you can find. Now this one's the same one, the diamond, except for I'm trying to make full circles around each obstacle in this one. So it just gives you another idea of how you can challenge yourself. And you see how I'm making a full circle around each one, you're following the arrow around there. Following the dots, you can go around the orange and then done. Obstacles are the same, just the skill's a little different. So you see how I go around, around, around. So key thing is using finger pads. All right, now I set up a side view to show you what it would look like if you were using three different objects. Get crazy with these ones. You can have fun, again, making different objects, replacing them, spreading them out. The closer you get them together, the harder it'll be. The bigger the objects, uh, sometimes the harder it'll be as well because you have to go around them. I just used a drill, a little truck, and a telephone. And at the end, I score on the chair to give myself points to see how many I can get in a certain amount of time. This one's the loop de loop, trying to go around. Again, slightly different because it's a straight line. If I go all the way around, notice my body doesn't have to go around, just my finger pads are controlling the ball. And I'm trying to use my finger pads the whole time, not the top of my hands. Go around and try to score on the chair. So I have to turn my hand to control which way the ball's going, kind of like a hockey stick, which was another skill that we had worked before. And now you're just manipulating the ball using your finger pads. See how fast you can go. If you want to build something similar to Mr. W, you can challenge me as well on these. You can see how fast you go compared to what I did. Now again, this one I just changed. Again, changing the obstacles. I put my big Viking guy in the way. So this time I had to actually go all the way around with my body, which made it even harder or more difficult. And my goal is to get through without hitting any of the obstacles. You notice how I make it around them without hitting it, which is hard when you're as big as Mr. W is. So. Again, our focus was using both finger pads, so make sure you switch hands as you're going through your challenges. Get creative, have fun, and I can't wait to see all the stuff you come up with. about that time to go and review here we've come to the end of our lesson so we're going to talk a little bit about what we've done we did a little bit of skill builders some ball control rally and the biggest thing is how do you know you were successful you should be able to say I can control the ball while using my finger pads or you should be able to say I can control the ball without losing balance if you can see either one of those and you can do them you're a rock star today give yourself a high five if you want to go back and replay any parts of the video, get some ideas, I look forward to it. Now it's about time to calm down a little bit, so I want you to find a comfortable space. Just relax for a bit. And we're just gonna go and think about something that's gonna calm you down a little bit here. When we do this part, it's a little bit different than what we've done in class. We're gonna think about sometimes ourselves, other people, things that make us happy and make us calm. So today we're thinking about someone that has done something nice for you. And I want you to really think about how did it make you feel when someone did something nice for you? Did it make you feel good too? Usually when I do stuff for other people, it makes me feel good and it makes them feel happy or better. So now the last question I have for you before we move on, is what can you do to help someone while you are at home? Is 
There's so many ways to be helpful, and I know you're going to be creative. You're going to have fun. You're going to make someone's day. So again, think about what can you do while you're at home to help someone else out. Maybe make their day a little bit better, a little bit easier. And hopefully you'll be able to do that before the end of the day. Now we're just staying calm, focusing on just breathing calmly, relaxing, letting our heart come down from all the activity you've just done. In a little bit, we'll move on. Slowly coming back up, and we're going to talk about what we have in store for you on day two. Next time I talk to you, we'll be doing a warm-up. We'll be working on dribbling, and then we'll actually do dribbling with our ball control rally. Do a little review, and we'll do our calm down again at the end. Until then, it's a great day to be a Mustang. I hope you are safe, healthy, and you're able to go and be active as much as possible today.